this is the Fetork mini smart projector now this projector is the id projector if you're going to go camping or you just want to keep back in the garage or the backyard with your friends watch a sport or like a movie this is the ideal mini projector this is a native 480p projector and it supports up to 1080p resolution it got the nice correction right here and also got a automatic keystone correction now on the front you got this um ir sensor right here on the side you got the um, headphone jack that you could plug in for to connect with the earphones or you can connect it to your speaker or whatever you want to do yeah for audio purposes you got a power button right here and on the back you got one usb port the ir the dc adapter port and one hdmi which i believe is um 2.0 now you it comes with a stand hdmi cable quick start guide and a user manual and uh, with this projector on fate torque you get 24 hour live support chat and you get up to one year warranty this you can uh, mount it anywhere you can mount it on your wall your ceiling you can mount this anywhere got a very nice speaker right here in the back a nice little vent right here with a nice fan and the fan is pretty quiet and it does a great job pushing out the heat and you can control it right here from these little this the flush in touch touch controls very awesome stuff and it comes with a controller no battery included very easy stuff very nice stuff as you see it's got a nice weight to it and the battery charge very fast and when the battery fully charged you get up to two and a half hours of video play you can connect it via bluetooth but the bluetooth is just for audio you can um, android cast mirror um ios cast dlna cast you got the bluetooth 5.0 you got dual wi-fi 2.4 and 5. great connections so what i'm going to do real quick i was going to screw this thing up right here and we're just going to share some cool features and right now for the for the interest of this video i just want to just use it on battery mode only so let me just go ahead and power up this projector and then let me just um show you right here on the wall and this is a short throw projector as well so you can be at uh right now it's at six feet and this is what it looks like it's great it only have 150 a in si brightness so in the daytime it can be questionable but in the dark it looks good and it's up and it, it supports 1080p like i said and it looks great as well the operating of this projector is very smooth very seamless i got it, i got it connected to some bluetooth devices and as you can see it's fully charged and that's on battery mode only so get through the settings real quick i just want to show you got a dlna for tv got the ios cast that's for like your your apple devices like your app your, your ipad your iphone and the android mirror cast right there very simple which i'm going to get into a second you got an hdmi section right here it does got one hdmi port and nothing fancy it just tell you that if you got a signal or not and you got the usb you can connect you see you got like your pictures you got like movies connected to your projector and you're good to go very simple stuff and you got settings you got the network you can connect it to your network from home bluetooth the input signal hdmi very, that's it right there very, very self-explanatory the display now it's only got one level of brightness high bright so all you got to do if you want to turn turn it down turn it off back on that's it you don't have a slider where you can um select it from zero to 100 percent it doesn't have anything for color contrast sharpness tint none of that it also comes out the keystone correction by default so you ain't got to worry about um try to get into settings and adjust the keystone it's automatic or you can set it up to you can have control by selecting manual keystone if you want and you also have you can initial angle correction which we're going to do right now and it does it very quick very simple very simple so let's go right here for for screen scaling 
you got different kinds. You got 16, 9, 16, 10, 4, 3, original screen ratio, and also screen zoom. This is very easy. As you can see with the screen zoom, it's a short throw projector, and you can get a maximum in terms of feet 100. Is it what is it feet? Whatever. You get up to 114. I think it's feet or, or inches, whatever it is. But up to 114 inches, I would believe. But anyway, let me leave that part alone because I don't want to make a mess of myself. But you get a big picture anyhow. But let's get out of there. And for projection mode, like I said earlier, you may you may be asking the question: Can you can you can you mount this on the ceiling? Yes. As you show right there, you got front projection, rear projection, front ceiling, rear ceiling projection. So you can project it, you can mount it anywhere you want. And it's so small, you can also, you can do anything you want with it. Let's go into the audio. The audio, you don't have no EQ, you don't, you don't have got anything special where you can adjust the mids or highs. It's just one simple sound effect. Very simple, nothing flashy, very simple projector. Right here, you got in generals, nothing in general, just the name of the projector. You can change the name of it if you want. And systems, you got the language, you can select different languages, you can select several different languages, depends where you live, whatever suits you best. The automatically, once you connect it to the Wi Fi, it automatically selects the date and time in where you live. You can factory reset it, or you can hit system, you can do local update or online update. But everything is already up to date already right out the box you're not going to worry about that so let's just go over some things here with this projector with this projector you can connect it via bluetooth you can mirror cast but the thing when you mirror cast with this is when you mirror cast you only can watch like youtube you can't watch you can select amazon prime you can you can select netflix you can hear the audio from the device you're casting it from but you will not get any picture. I believe it's something to do with with HDEC or whatever protocol. So it won't allow you to watch anything unless you connect it through a adapter or a cable. So that's what I'm going to show you real quick. So without further ado, let me go ahead and set up my um, tablet and maybe my phone. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I got my iPhone cast onto the projector and i got my um android tablet on deck so let me go out here and show you real quick what i'm talking about so i got it right here my phone cast on let me just show you right here it's on and i'm going to show you for example i'm going to go with um amazon prime video absolutely nothing is left standing in its wake i think it was quite considerate of my pet to leave you a little patch of dirt to stand on so you see right there, you will get audio, but you can't watch it. You can't get um, video straight from your phone onto the screen. You may see the picture like this right here onto the wall, but for video, video wise, you will not get to watch any video off of this thing. So you have to get like an adapter, like I said earlier. So now easily to cast the Android Miracast. So slide over to Android Miracast. Then you go back onto your Android device. And for example, this is my Xiaomi Pad 6. Boom. Then it connects. Just that simple. Just that simple. But like I said, to watch videos it's not going to work you're going to hear sound plus 500 bonus cash or the 2000 total savings on the santa fe see your local hyundai dealer today so that's just the sound coming from the speaker and it sounds pretty good but if you're going to do anything mirror casting like youtube um i mean netflix or amazon prime video you won't do it so in order for you to to get something like that going what I have right here is this. I have a USB type C to HDMI cord. And this one says 4 8K. So when, usually if you want a real 4K HDMI cable, get the one that says 8K. I don't know why. But anyway, that's how it works. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect these bad boy together like this. Go back right here. And my wall is cream. My wall is not white. It's cream. But it shows pretty well. It shows pretty well. That's how, tell how powerful this little projector is. So what I got to do, go into input signal. And I'll just click HDMI. Boom. So it's, it, tells, it tells right there. It recognizes 1080p. All right. So since I connected the HDMI, I'm going to play. The only catch. See, it plays automatically. But here's the catch, though. The catch is, the catch is you have to, you got to have to use the audio that's coming from the device that you are, that you're connected to. The only you're going to go, you're only going to be restricted to the audio from the device is connected from. What you can do, though, you can connect your projector uh, via a bluetooth speaker or if you have one of those av cable that you can connect to the headphone jack onto a speaker you can, that's how you're going to get the audio so what i'm going to do real quick i'm going to connect it to my bluetooth speaker i'll connect it to my bluetooth speaker so you can hear so you can hear the audio that's the only way you can get audio if you're connected via cable or adapter so it's connected to my bluetooth speaker Let's go back here to Amazon Prime Video. And let's... That savvy sucker, Yugi. I'm curious to see how you will combat my mighty denizens of the deep. So that's how you can get audio. It's very simple. Very simple. All right. So let me just go ahead real quick. Let me just disconnect. Disconnect it from my tablet, my Android tablet. And now I'm going to connect, connect it to my ONN. 4k streaming box so you so you've got like your so you've got like your apple you have like an apple 4k or your regular apple tv or if you got your google tv chrome or or like this one right here the cheap onn 4k streaming stick which is pretty good you can always do that watch a live tv and you can also simply just select your Select your devices, I mean your your app. For example, I'm going to select Netflix. And then I'm going to turn off the light a little bit so you can see. Let's go ahead with this quick video of this movie real quick. And yes, the only time... Other than the, in the beginning, you will get audio from your from the speaker of the projector is when you're connected to your to your streaming box. The audio is going to come directly through the speaker, or you can still use it via Bluetooth. But usually, standard, once you're connected to your streaming box, you could be like I said, your ONN 4K streaming box, your Google Chrome, whatever you want to call it, your Apple is going to play to the is going to play to the speaker of the projector. Or you again connected connected via Bluetooth or AV cable. So let me turn up the volume of the speaker. I think it's all the way up. And yeah, let's let's run for a little bit. The speaker pack a little punch. And you see, if you listen carefully, you probably could hear the fan. And it's pretty quiet. It's pretty quiet. All right, so let's just go ahead and let me just try to fire up some game and just end this video.
Uh, excuse me, sir. And there you have it, the Factor Mini Projector. Like I said, very versatile. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You even can even fit in your pockets. Like I'm gonna show you real quick. Fit in the pocket, nice and sim nice and easy. Very powerful. And it gets the job done. Alright. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.